You taking a piss? Yeah. Why? Just wondering. Yeah, it's coming in, Dan. Let's go. Did you get bitten bad last night? Yeah. I'm actually avoided getting bitten twice. Oh, did you do that? Yeah. No, stupid bitten. Got a new box popping up everywhere. It was just more uncomfortable than. Yeah. Time. So hard to sleep, so hard to sleep. Do you think today will be more of a scouting mission or would it be moving? It's not going to be safe carrying this around on the stream, is it? Yeah, so we're walking down the uh, stream bed. I kind of machete in through what we can. Uh, it's starting to open up a bit, letting more light in, which is a good old man. It would suggest we're getting closer to the river, but it's easier that it's just maybe just a, uh, a temporary blip of good light. Unfortunately, I've got a cut on the underside of my foot. I'm going to put pressure on it, so I'm kind of tiptoeing a little bit. You can see that in the distance, we have, it looks like the other side of the river, potentially. So it seems to go up as this goes down. So you should be quite nearby. And obviously the nearer we are, the better for us. Like if we are close indeed, we'll see how steep it is for us. Yeah, as you can see, well, I'll show you in a second, it's getting very deep, which means we can't really take these uh, cameras, these are kind of quite expensive cameras with us, so they are quite fragile. Let's see how deep it's going to start getting in a minute. Goes to about knee height. up to my waist. If you go to the bank you might get more height. There will be. Look at the size of the river. Yeah, nice and cool. Oh, this feels good. Woo! <sighs> I'm always keeping hold of the bank, though, just in case I slip in. Yeah. It didn't take too long to get down here. So we scattered it. So that matters. 
We have got. You haven't got like a heavy rock up there you can throw to see the, the depth. Have you? We've just made it down to the river. Um, great result. Looks like we might be able to catch fish. So tomorrow we're going to come back down here uh, with the net, uh, potentially try and find some food source, which is what we're in need of. Um, in terms of the rest of today, our energy is really low. Um, we're going to go back, rehydrate, um, and then crack on with the shelter, really. We're going to try and take it back a few steps to then rebuild it, uh, make it trying to make it as waterproof as possible, because if we can get, get that right, then I think this whole challenge is going to fall into place and, you know, become a hell of a lot easier on the both of us. At this point, we decided to trek back to our shelter. We achieved what we needed to achieve by finding the river. We know where it is, and then we now we're going to plan to go fishing the next day. Uh, Unfortunately, it does take quite a few calories just to get there and get back. Uh, we hadn't eaten in so many days, so we were very drained by the walk and it is quite slippery. We got back and then get prepared for another day. So after uh, last night where the shelter wasn't too good, it let rain in a bit too easily. Uh, unfortunately, it is monsoon season uh, and most shelters aren't made to survive monsoon season. Uh, so we are going to have to rebuild it. Uh, so we're gonna have to kind of, kind of almost start from scratch. James, do you wanna take it away? This is what we're gonna do, is we're gonna pile off all the leaves. Um, obviously they're good to use again. What we wanna do is get the bigger leaves over into our pile that's over there um, in the corner. So that what we're gonna do is use some of these trees that you can see that are a lot straighter and actually yeah. line them up against our main A, a frame. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, we use our trees a bit in a distance because we don't want to lose our canopy because that still does uh, help uh, protect us from some rain. And we don't have a lot of canopy to be fair. Yeah. Uh, so use the trees in a distance, start cutting things down a size, put the bigger leaves on next and then we can put the rest of the leaves on after that. Sweet. So it's, yeah. just, it's, it's, getting, almost, it's getting a bit into the evening. Yeah. So we've got a lot of work to do. It's getting into the evening so we've got a lot of work to do now. Uh, so we're gonna have to crack on immediately. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have time to uh, kind of redo the shelter completely. It's getting late and I feel like it's better just to grim and bear and just make some slight improvements rather than kind of go from the scratch because that's gonna, you know, put us in the hurt locker. I think it's gonna be a tomorrow job to be fair. Yeah, the job for tomorrow. Oh, we made some great starts today. Found the river, so that's quite key. But yeah, we just make some more improvements to it, use big leaves on it. Uh, okay, so we're heading back to our camp so we can build our shelter a bit later. Uh, just found these massive leaves here, and they're way too good an opportunity to leave. We're gonna take these and help that for our shelter, because that's gonna, you know, no water's gonna get through anywhere here other than here. It's a great surface area. Easier said than done, da. Easier said than done. With me to, right now, so. Yeah, man, it just takes a bit of time. Don't have, mach don't have machete. What? Uh, I don't know, I should be... How far away are you? There.
Yeah, it's good, mate. It's quite hard because they're, cause they're very alive. They're quite strong fibrous. You can't really... You've got to cut through it. You can't really snap the... Uh, A load of ants just collected on a leaf. Yeah. So I'm gonna lick it. Go for it. Yeah. They might bite you, be careful. Yeah man. We've got quite a lot there. That's good. That's good. We need to find more stuff like that. And less on the ground because we've we're eating too much dirt. Um when picking just uh, ants off the ground. Bad foot. Is that on your bad foot? No. Nah. On the other one? Toe. Bleeding? Nah, that's right. I think it's just a very small tempest. Yeah? What is alright? Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, buddy. In terms of energy, energy seems to be coming in waves for me. Do you need any more, Dan? Um, one minute, I can have all the energy, and then the next, I'm really low. That, that's mainly down to the, to the lack of food. I think um, since we since we sort of begun this, pretty much just lived on you know less than about 100 calories, which is pretty shocking. And then we had an idea the other day to try and trek out and try and find this river um, which wasn't our brightest idea um, it was we think it was a lot further and the flat land was a lot further than what we anticipated so we burnt a lot of calories I mean a lot of calories um, and then when we trekked back the same day um, just because it had started to rain um, we ended up trekking way too far back to the fur shower um, which wasn't the w worst thing in the world because we had shelter for the night um, wasn't the best shelter I must admit um, it, it rained torrentiously um, it sort of became a wet sort of gloopy mess with inside but we got up the next day trekked back to our second shelter because we, we both we both decided that you know this is where we, we're going to set up camp we're going to try and meander down the river down the stream to find the river um, that trek back was very difficult um, Dan bless him I thought, thought was going to pass out at various different points but as a trooper he powered on uh, and got there in the end um, my feet were killing me sunburnt as hell on the shoulders you know so not having any clothes and not having any sun cream bad idea but you know we're out here to survive so can't have those kind of things not those kind of luxuries and you sort of start to realize that you take in take those kind of things for granted um, but we got back here um, last night was most probably the worst night we had in terms of rain um, it rained pretty much non-stop all night which doesn't really do out here um, we sort of thought we had we knew the pattern of the rain which was you know by seven o'clock it would start to rain a couple of hours then it would stop and then for the rest of the night it, it would be all right but last night changed all that and it just rained non-stop so it meant we had to sort of to, to get any kind of sleep we had to sleep in for a while today and then 
we woke up and our main mission was to get to this this river so we meandered downstream um, and it went all right to be fair um, with the river's not actually as far as we thought it was um, the trek wasn't as difficult um, it does look like there could be potential for life inside the river unlike the forest because there's been fuck all here to be fair um, so our, our, ne our next mission is to sort of try and um, do some fishing because if we can do that then we can eat and we're in desperate need of that um, we were going to come back and try and crack on with the shelter um, but time has sort of got away from us so we've tried to make as many amendments to it as again as possible um, to sort of try and cover in the gaps so that when it does rain tonight that that's not an issue um, yeah and I'm, feel, I'm feeling a little bit more pumped up than yesterday I think my energy got so low yesterday that I was ready to just throw in the towel um, today we're finding the river boosted boosted my confidence boosted my morale big time um, and I can see that in Dan as well like Dan from yesterday to today different man completely um, especially in terms of you know just wanting to crack on and get things done now and you know I think I think the trek literally took all everything out of him um, so, so yeah we're ex exciting times like I think I, th I think we can plow plow it plow down and you know carry on until the end um, problem is just hunger uh, any given moment you know we're, we're thinking about food we're talking about food like what, what can we eat when we get out you know how much we'd like to dig into a nice juicy burger a steak chicken all the things that you know, even even the little foods that you know that I wouldn't even eat normally like you know veg like I'm missing missing veg you know I can't wait to go home and just eat some spinach some uh, sweet corn and stuff like that um, you know food is constantly on our mind like constantly um, what we'd do for some food right now to be fair and to be tucked up nice shower in bed but hey that's not the situation we're in um, but last off it's um, November the 7th so I've got to give a big shout out to my sister um, it's, her, it's her birthday today so I do apologize I can't be there with her to celebrate it but I know she's celebrating style as she always does so yeah much love to her hope she's having a wicked time and I can't wait to see her when I get back peace looked at my hand it's not too good uh, got most of the glue off it uh, it's not really sealing properly. I can see it's still massive gaps inside it, but I'm gonna go with it for now. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get much worse. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get it done. I'm just gonna seal it up. Well, I'm gonna seal it up. I'm gonna uh, clean it up with some wipes, and then put another bandage over it, uh, and just make it do. It's not. Sometimes my hands are too, not looking too good, and it still does hurt. Uh, but you know, I'll have to deal with that kind of pain anyway. My hands are so dirty, it's just like you're kind of just already infecting your hands whilst you're even doing it, to be honest. Walk around and get different angles if you want as well. Like the other side, walk around the other side. Okay. Because it's, it's not right. It's getting bitten by a bug there. Mm -hmm. It's getting bitten by another bug. It's getting to the time of the day. Well, so it happens all, all day long. Where? Go get this done before. Uh, it starts to rain. Got to get this done before you know it starts to rain. I'll go for the second to white. It's 
wipe is a bit stronger, has alcohol in it. So this may sting? Uh, that should be fine. This way I can kind of get more in between the cracks because I see it is more effective. See that you can see it's kind of opening a bit. See it opening. Really got to keep everything off his hand from now on. For now, see what I have left in terms of bandages. Why not this part of this? I'm going to not use. I'm not going to use it all because I've only got so much. I'll try to get away with a quarter of it because this needs to go a long way. I'll have to unfold it. Use two pieces. This is what being economical in the jungle means. Not for money, but just for resources. even less bandage than I have before. There we go. All done. Zoom out, move out. There you go, all done. 
and kind of ready to uh, go. It's kind of very lightly banded, but that's what we kind of have to deal with out here. We've only got so many resources at hand. That's it. My back is caning in, my knee is caning in. Uh, uh, it was so uncomfortable. It was cold, it was wet as well. But can you be able to complete the rest of the days? I don't know. You don't know? What about you? Yeah, I think I can do it. Yeah, I think I can do it. You ready for this uh, long check today? No. 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 The sooner we move, the quicker we can do it before the midday sun. Yeah. I will be. Just give me ten minutes, yeah. Okay.